Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ethan aka The Mighty Zero back again and for Mega Man X3 Episode 4. Last time, we uh, a, lot of, a lot actually happened. We went to Blizzard Buffalo, we took him down, we got another sub tank, and we actually got the leg piece which allowed us to air dash left, right, and up. Um, after beating that stage, we saw our first glimpse of Dr. Doppler and sicking his Mavericks, or sicking his Reploids bit and bite after us, as well as seeing Vile come back as well. So we got a few people on our heels. Uh, we'll have to see what happens with them, but today, uh, we are not gonna go to another, we're not gonna go to Toxic Seahorse, who Blizzard Buffalo is strong against. No, that makes complete sense. Why would we use the boss's weakness against them? No, we're gonna go to Tunnel Rhino, because with his power, We'll be able to do a little bit of backtracking and uh, at the end of this episode uh, to pick up some stuff we missed, and also it will help us, it'll help prevent doing some backtracking in the future. So, with that said, let's go ahead and start. Tunnel Rhino. that we're starting in the quarry uh, so these guys there they'll drop down and they'll shoot rockets at you most sometimes if you're quick you can actually take care of them before they hit the ground there and now time to go underground nice little background with these jewels that just flash back and forth yeah, nice all right so instant death pit here Kinda nice that we have the uh, the leg piece just so we can jump through, and we see the rock counterpart to the ice balls that we saw before. Uh, taking a detour off to our right here, we can see a life extender, but we can't get to it. This rock can only be broken by a different boss's power, so we won't have to come back. not so dangerous. Uh, they just shove you down to the ground and you can't really jump while in them. So you want to be careful, otherwise they'll push you down to those spikes which are instant death. Run against the treadmill, a big issue. And that one will shove you down again, and you got another one right there. Kind of nice, they continue to make my tradition of showing you obstacles in a safe environment and then adding different challenges to it. And with this, we actually have another our first power up of the stage, which is another sub tank. So taking a look at it, we are up to three now. Uh, if I could actually get life, you know, that would make this a whole lot, that would make them very useful. Uh, unfortunately, there's no places right here to farm it easy enough. Uh, these spiders function similar to the boss from the first tutorial level, where you have to attack them before or after their own attack. And with this, we have, I believe, oh no, oh, okay, this is another one of those sub-boss rooms. Uh, this is where Bit and Bite can show up. Uh, so this time they did not show up, so we'll go ahead and continue on. Driller enemies that will shoot spikes at you. Kind of a kind of a combo of the uh, that cannon enemy and over the penguin, I would say, where they block your shots. So we'll jump up here. You can only shoot that guy in his face, so kind of lock stuff down. It's like, come on, man, don't be like that. Again, we can see that the rocks are starting to fall there. So we might want to be careful and keep that in mind going forward. Avoid the death pit. Jump to that side so we don't get crushed by that. Oh no! Rocks everywhere. Again, we have another instance of the rock that we can't get past. We'll have to come back with a different power. This one, you let it go first. 
slide down the wall. Walls are your friends, as will be shown in this next room. Here we have a mini boss. Alright, this guy fairly easy. You kind of want to hang on the ground and let him come to you. Kind of get him stuck in this pattern. The, uh, the other attack that he has is that he comes up here, he knocks you down, and then he charge commands this thing to come after you. So, again, the easier, safer method is to uh, pretty much just let him come for you, try to get him a little bit of space up on the wall. Kind of get the rhythm down, and you can just keep this guy going wherever you want him to. Not really a problem once you get the pattern down. A lot of the bosses in this game are kind of that same way. Once you kind of get them into a pattern, you can take them on fairly easy. Alright, let's get the health and keep on going. Go ahead and take them a little bit slow. Just don't know who you're going to run into. Ah, goodness. Yeah, there's you here. Alright. off the stage for a little bit. Let's show off some of these powers. So we have our race flasher here. Three shots will take him down. Like I said, can be can be useful for hitting a wide range. And actually shoots through walls so you can this guy from beneath. then with the frost shield, it, as you saw, it leaves, uh, it shoots off the spike, but the spike, once it hits the wall, actually leaves a projectile on the ground as well. Can be kind of handy. Uh, can't switch off the power, though, until it's gone, so you have to uh, switch that. You know what, this guy, I'm not digging. I'll attack him from underneath. All right, and with that, we're full health. We uh, we have a little bit extra health in the tank, and uh, we have no spare lives. So let's let's hope that a uh, tunnel rhino is not going to do me in. Let's go to the boss doors. The tunnel rhino is going to kind of function like Blizzard Buffalo in a uh, smaller room. Most of the time, if you're on the wall, he'll come at you. But he can switch... Uh, he can switch positioning if you're not careful. It's gonna be kind of on... You kind of want to move at the last minute kind of thing. See, he can adjust position. Try to psych you out. If you're not careful. Halfway where he gets an invincible charge. Great run. And as I say that, I mess it up. But hey, you know, he didn't get to show off even half his attacks where he shoots the drills out of his shoulders and his arm, uh, kind of giving him an AoE attack. But that's Tunnel Rhino. Like I said, walls are your friends. You know how to use them. Effectively, and if you're quick, bosses can't touch you. And with that, we take the next power, which I believe is Tornado Fang, if I remember the name correctly. Tornado Fang. And with this, uh, we're actually going to extend the episode a little bit past, I know we normally end on the password screen. Uh, into the next boss, but with this we can actually backtrack two of the couple stages that we've been to. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with Neon Tiger, uh, because with the drill we can actually open up the power-ups that we've missed. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show off this one. Actually, you know what, we'll just skip it right there. 
jump up the wall. For those of you who are wondering, the uh, the pattern that the race flasher shoots in, it may seem random, but it is actually static. If you notice, it works in the middle and then kind of widens out. about it is that if you double tap Tornado Fang, it actually gives you three additional ones on the side. That does help out. Uh, careful the drop here, because that does lead you down to insta-death. So take an air dash over here. Air dash. Come on. Air dash up. With this, we got another upgrade capsule. Enter this capsule X. Take this X Buster upgrade. The upgrade will increase the strength of your charge shots. You will be able to shoot two charge shots at once. If timed correctly, you can overlap the shots to create a single cross charge shot. The upgrade will also allow you to charge any special weapon. So yeah, the, uh, the arm upgrade in this one Features pretty much similar to the other ones where it increases your regular buster shot and then also allows you to do uh, special shots with your uh, with your special weapons. But in this one, uh, similar in X2, it gave you two kind of full charge shots. In this one, it shoots out a little one that works well, and then you have your uh, charge shots to use. But like Dr. Light said, you overlap the two. And you get a big, massive shot. Uh, with that, we have everything we need on the stage, so we'll go ahead and exit. And we'll, we're going to go ahead and head back to Blizzard Buffalo. Thankfully, thankfully the power-up we missed there is actually near the beginning of the stage. So... Anyway, this uh, this section right here uh, with these with these printed uh, fang, you can dig through these. over. Grab the life extender. Alright. And then that should be everything for this stage, so we'll go ahead and exit out. And yeah, with that, uh, three bosses are down. We've gotten all the power-ups from Blizzard Buffalo and from Neon Tiger. We are missing two from uh, Tunnel Rhino, but we can't get to them yet. We'll need another boss of power. But we do have the arm upgrade, we have the leg upgrade, uh, we have a decent amount of life, and we actually have three sub tanks. So we're sitting pretty right now, actually. Uh, next episode, we are going to be, we are actually going to be using a boss's weakness against them. We are going to toxic seahorse. But uh, until then, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Experience Boost if you're not already. Uh, like, share the video, and have yourselves a great day. This will be Ethan, aka the Mighty Zero, signing out.